You read any good bridges lately <laughs> around downtown? Have you noticed they contain messages some see as funny and others see as blasphemous? Two graffiti artists claim they've turned our city into their canvas. 19 News reporter Tiffany Gann spoke with them today and joins us live with the story. Tiffany. Trisha, if you've driven out here on the interstate, you've probably seen their work. Two guys claim they've written all over Hamilton County, and they say they don't want to be identified because they're wanted by police. Many people see it. It's uh, an unedited form of expression. It's a challenge. Without helicopters or hovercrafts, these two guys claim responsibility for graffiti all over the greater Cincinnati area. Words from above, you read from the road. This speaks a lot louder into a much wider audience doing these overpasses and thousands of people pass them every day. This duo calls it art. Sentences sitting up there in strange formations merely to make people think, not necessarily to make sense. There's names that people are familiar with and they can relate to names like Chris Sabo and Died for Our Sins is like a sentence everybody's familiar with. Rob Dibble bust me upside my head. Rob Dibble was known, was known to have a temper. And so does the city, who's searching for these so-called artists. We're working so hard in the city of Cincinnati to get people to move back down, to enjoy downtown. We don't need this uh, crime. The city spends more than $200,000 every year to clean up graffiti. Taxpayers foot the bill. The services exist anyway. It's not like they had to invent a whole highway maintenance system in order to clean these things up. Graffiti equals gangs. Gangs equal fear. So people don't want to come to that neighborhood. I would hope that they would stop tonight. Stop. If they don't, this pair could face federal charges because they're tagging federal property. They would put shopping bags over their head and come and do this in the middle of the night and be very cowardly about it. We try to keep it funny and positive. We're not trying to make it crude and, uh, and lewd. And Whenever I think of someone putting something over top of their head, I kind of think of, you know, shades of Ku Klux Klan. Now, these guys say their work is not over yet. They have big plans for the future. They won't reveal what exactly those plans are, but they guarantee we'll see them. Downtown, I'm Tiffany Gans. Jack, I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Tiff.